That's us, Fabulous 103 FM. I did tell you we've got a special guest in the studio, and Megan has been so excited. She said to me all week, she goes, Can we get him in? Can we get him in? Can I fit him in? Can I... Yeah, all right, Megan, if you want. <laughs> Jeff Carter, welcome to the studio. All right, Tommy. All, all right. right. All Long right. time no see. Really? Yeah. I say, you, you, you haven't really got any older than last time you were here, mate. You're exactly the same, Tommy. You look exactly... In fact, you've not gone any greyer. No, I can't. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> so, Jeff, you, you flipped backwards and forwards from the UK to Thailand. Yeah. You're Patia's favourite blogger. Oh, no, I? no, you're not a blogger, you're a vlogger. Yeah, why do they call it vlogs? I was going to ask you that. You're the vlogger, not us, I mate. call myself a movie maker. Oh, even, think... even on Facebook and things, I don't say, look at my videos. I always say, check out my new movies. I'm a movie maker, Tom. You're a movie maker. A movie, mm. smoothie movie. Mm. How about that then? Yeah, Jeff Carter, movie Jeff maker. Jeff Carter's ear. Yeah. yeah. Jeff Carter's ear. Yeah. Jeff Carter's ear. That, yeah. that was from the last time. Yeah. Jeff Carter's other ear. Hey, how long yeah. has it been? Two years. Two years. It must be yeah. two, two years, years. yeah. But well, I've not been coming to Taya that much. I've been travelling around. Ko Chang, Ko Tao. Udon Tani. Udon Tani. Yeah, you are getting around a lot, aren't you? Yeah, what I'm trying to do is just do, do a little bit different because um, you must appreciate when you do your own films. We're running out of things to film around here now. Yeah. You know, it's... Uh, that's, well, that's better. better. Now he's too, yeah, yeah, see, no. Fantastic. Well, you're, you're just talking to mic the microphones you're talking to. <laughs> yeah, well, it was to. put in front of me face, Tommy, and, it, and it's oh. a funny shape, and, and it always frightens me when something like that's in front of my mouth. Yeah, Megan enjoys it, but it's just completely different for her. Oh, yeah, so she's a girl. You you every... Well, you put out... I've got to ask you, how many of these do you put out a week? Um, I'm, when I'm in Thailand, I try and put about three or four out. Right. So that's three or four times filming... And then you've got to get back and start Edit. editing. Editing's and the big job. I, I just wish that I could afford to uh, employ an editor. Or borrow one for free, Tommy. Gosh, we can New do it job free. opportunity. Yeah, yeah we can do it free. got to pay better than Tommy anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm... Because I love the filming and I love messing about and going mooching and finding new places to go. And, and it's all great for people who watch it because it gives them ideas of where to go themselves. Because yes. what happens is, normally you come on holidays and you go as far as the beach or the second road... And that's as far as you venture. But if you see one of these videos and you go, oh, just past Third Road, there's such and such a restaurant I'm going. And it's giving people new ideas. Right. And I just went to Udon Tani because everybody says, go there and film and check How it out. How did you us. go to Udon Tani? Right, I went to Utapau Airport. All right, you flew. With AirAsia, and mm -hmm. it was only 995 wow. baht. Each way. Single. Single mm. there. But it's more expensive coming back. I think it was 1,350 coming back. But it's still cheap. And uh, it's only an hour to get there. Do you think that's because everybody, everybody. nobody wants to leave Patia, yeah. but everybody's get out of you entirely? Yeah, yeah. yeah probably. You've been there now, but yeah. you're going to pay extra to get yeah. out. Yeah. Anyway, I went there and I thought, you know, it could be old, you know, oldy worldy and all these old crumbly temples and things, but it wasn't. Everything's lot like, sort of spread out, and what you've got to do, you've either got to hire a car or a moped. Right. Uh, you Did you have any friends up there you could, that were showing you around? No, no you well, just land. You just landed, I and just, that was just it. Just landed, potluck. Stayed in an hotel for 440 baht a night, which wow. is dirt cheap. The hotels are really inexpensive there. Was it a uh, good hotel? It was a good hotel, but no lift. What Never floor were you on? Floor four. <laughs> right, which is eight lots of stairs. Keeps you nice and fit, doesn't uh, it? Well, it, not, not at 12 o'clock at night when you've been on it all day. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. yeah. There was, anyway, there was a little old man in the doorway. He was only about four stone wet through. And uh, I used to give him 20 baht. He used to carry me up the stairs on his back. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it, yeah. Why didn't they just bring your bed downstairs and put it in the back of the you kitchen? Know what? I did what I did want a bed, bed downstairs, and they said that's an extra four hundred baht. So the the two lower floors, right, oh. to save you climbing the stairs, are twice as dear. But it was nice, Wi-Fi, bed, balcony, aircon, air, air uh, the cleaners were dead nice. But the, on my floor there was um there was a little old clean cleaning lady, and I, I I just told her, no, you don't have to clean the room, love. I'm all right. And she used to give me fresh towels and um, and some fresh water and that because I felt tight. Aww. She was on that floor on her own and it was about, uh, I don't know, probably 80 odd degrees. And you could see she was struggling. And I went, yeah. no, you're all right, love you. Anyway, I left a 200 bat tip. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Of them, oh, they're yeah. probably going to remember you for the rest of their lives <laughs> oh, no, now for she's, that. She's going to she go the market, get some roller skates. What is it? <laughs> what do you think it is? Because as far as I'm aware, I think you're still the most popular vlogger. Uh, of all the vloggers, if we had a vlogger chart, 
I think you'd probably be at the top. What do you think... I'm not just talking about your stuff, right? Because yeah. we, we all know you're good. But what is it that makes a good vlog over an average vlog? Right. I've been or do you know what... Yeah, maybe well, you I, don't want to tell them. No, no, I could tell you. But I've been watching them lately. They're absolutely inundating um, Pattaya now with yeah. just point and shoot, I call it. They grab themselves a £20 camera, they hold it in front of the chest and they walk round and they're up and down and left and right. They don't talk, they don't put any music on, they don't do any editing and people are watching them because they're filming the night bars and things like that because nobody ever knows what they look like. Now, my ones, the reason why I think mine are successful is because I just go out and say what I see. So sometimes I don't I don't even know what I'm going to go and see. And because I was on the radio myself years ago and done television and bits and bobs uh, and a DJ around the pubs, I'm obviously quick-witted and, and I can pick up on things quick. As long as you give people the right information and, and have a little bit of natural comedy... Com oh, hang on. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> no, it's because he keeps moving backwards and forwards on his microphone. <laughs> oh, go on, there you go. No, I'm miles away now, Tommy. <laughs> no, no, I'm putting you down. There I, you go. Thank you. <laughs> Well, that's a first for you, putting me down, Tommy. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, so, basically, I just say what I see. And, and you socialise with yeah, people. Yeah, and I socialise with yeah. people. And I never call, even if it's a bad situation, I never call Thailand, I never call Thai people. I always give them respect, and I always try and give as much information, like the time of the year it is, uh, how hot it is that day, whereabouts the, to go, how to get there, transport-wise, as much information as I can. You know, and they seem to like it. Right, so you you been in Thailand this visit how long? How long's the visit in all? Uh, it's it's one, 28 days in all. 28 days. And when you're back in the UK, because I do watch your vlogs. <laughs> oh, there's nothing better than a good vlog <laughs> in the... You know. no, Mrs. Says to me, Mrs. says, do you want to come to bed? I said, I just want to vlog first and I'll be up oh, for it. Oh, fair play. So I sit and watch a <laughs> vlog and I watched him and he is creating a mini Thailand in his garden. He got this concrete... Honestly, John, you should see this, right? So he gets these bags of concrete and junk, and in the corner sure. of his garden, yeah, he just throws this concrete and just makes... It just looks like a, a mass of concrete, and you know it's going to be garbage. And honestly, no. Oh, it did. It's just like bits of concrete and junk that he just throws in and makes this pile of junk. And then the next vlog, he goes in and he starts plastering it slightly and in the next vlog he starts putting stuff anyway long and short of it is it suddenly looks like a genuine waterfall mm -hmm. and it really really is that's a skill you have but that's what you do for a living as well, well that's what isn't I, do. It? I, build, I build water features and what happens is on some properties you can't get the big rocks right through to the back obviously because there's no there's no access plus this has got to be a lot cheaper than buying rocks in the uk yeah rocks are very expensive they're about 200 quid a ton you know delivered Right, right. So you can you can make these rocks for mm. about five pound each. Mm. Obviously, Very clever. Yeah, yeah. It's, it is good what we do. And you paint them, and, uh, and by the time he's painted yeah, them, they look like yeah. real rocks. And, mm. and after about after about twelve months, two years, it all weathers and naturally gets um, all the all the moss on it and that, and it looks like it's been there for years, you know. Mm. And um, when I was in Udantane, I just went, and they've made their own there. There's a Chinese Thailand cultural centre, and they've got the most magnificent waterfall se section and that'll be in my next movie that's coming out in a couple of days time right okay. yeah so that's worth watching while you're here how many videos are you going to put out um i think i've done about four or five already there's three ready to be edited and this week now i'm going to try and film two a day oh right okay which, which is hard right um and I was going to go to Walking Street tomorrow to film. I don't usually go down there because it's very expensive now. Everybody so, speaks to. Good luck with that, mate. Yeah, yeah exactly. Closed. Exactly. Closed. That's why I'm, I can't go. So yes. I might have to leave that till I Monday. That would be, do you know Someday. what? I'm sorry. I no. think that would be a great video. Walking Street. Are you in the dark. In the dark. Yeah. Hey, that'll be great, won't yeah. it? Yeah. Blackout video. Jeff 20, Carter 20 here. minutes. Jeff Carter. Here. I've got my torch. Yeah. Can you see me? I'm <laughs> over here. I'm yeah, over here. Can yeah, you see me? Yeah. That'd be great. And then you'd have the these little voices going, Psst, you want to come and see a show? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Be like the old um, yeah. Take like Soho. Take like table mind. tennis. Soho in the 60s. <laughs> Psst, do you want to come and see a show? Uh, <laughs> is that where you used to hang around, that, Tom? Uh, I did go down there. Uh, Me and my friend went down there. We'd worked our butts off to yeah. save our money. And we went up to London for this Saturday. <laughs> and we had to go to Soho because we'd heard about Soho. You know, we knew about Soho anyway. So down we go, Soho. We're walking down this place. Says, oh, do you want to see a show? Yeah, how much? Goes? Five pounds. We haven't got five pounds. <laughs> Free. 
So we give him three, and he says, right, go. this is a true story. Three or three? Three quid okay. each. So then he says, right, walk down the road, turn left, and you'll see a bloke, and he'll take you in. So we walk down the road, turn left, see a bloke, he goes, you for the show? Yeah, two quid. <laughs> <laughs> right? And this is how it went. Anyway, eventually we got into this show. It was a clip joint, right? And we went in, and there was no show, right? And this bloke comes up and says, what do you want to buy? What do you want to drink? And I'm like, I thought the bloody drink. We paid the five pound to get into the show. So we got kicked out. Right. Yeah. So nothing changes then? No. No, nothing changes. But it's changes exactly the same now. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, probably, yeah. So, yeah. so getting back to Walking Street, um, I speak to all my mates now. Nobody ever goes down there. Apart- I do. Well, you do, because you, you can have free do. drinks and all that, can't yes. you? Because you're a girl. Yes. Yeah, you get free drinks, but people like us. And somebody was saying the other night, the night they went... They went there and it was 160 or 180 baht for one bottle of beer. Yeah, but you're, you're not just paying for the beer, are you, to be yeah. fair? You're paying for the f- 20 semi clad women no, that are No, I'm not, I'm not on about inside the, the, the go go. Oh, in the oh, nightclubs? nightclubs? I'm just yes. on about one of the bars on the street that you walk past. Really? Oh. Yeah, and that's why you see all our Russian friends going in the 7 Eleven and buying a bottle from there and walking up and down. <laughs> because you can, you can do that, can't you? You can walk up and down with a bottle of beer. And I think, yeah. I think in, in 7-Eleven, yeah. or Family Mart, I think it's only something like 37 baht. Well, that's the that's the standing joke now that uh, the busiest bar on Walking Street is 7-Eleven. Yeah. 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 And it, I always it, go in there anyway, because you know when it's red hot, yeah. and you get it's halfway cool along down. there, I go and stand near fridges for half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> and they keep coming up saying, what do you want? You know, and anyway, I leave then, and then and then you get to the end, don't you, where they all do the portraits and that yeah, near yeah. Ballet IP, turn round, walk, and think, right, I've done it again, you know. But he's gone now, hasn't it? And that magic man's there, same bloke. Mm. Yeah. And that kid, that kid who used to be about four, acro- she used to acrobats. do the acrobats yeah. with her dad. Oh, is she still there? Oh, yeah, she's 28. <laughs> she probably is. Probably go- when she goes backwards now, she probably goes, ooh! Yeah, honestly, I seen her last year, she's 28. <laughs> we used to know the Scorpion, this is before your time, we used to know the Scorpion lady. Now, the Scorpion right, lady yeah. was the woman who, I think she worked in Ripley's or something like Ripley's, and she used to go into a container full of scorpions. Yeah. And right. used to crawl her. Now, um, I'm not going to say where she worked, uh, but I will say she was one of the nicest people you could ever talk to. Yeah. You said before Jeff's time, you know how long he's been coming here? Yeah, do you, uh, I'll tell you the name of the place afterwards. 1985. Right, well, you remember the scorpion with the scorpion shows where uh, the girls used to be covered in scorpions? No, I, ne- I never actually seen that. Oh. It's not that sick and uh, twisted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I saw it a hundred times. It's, uh, not like, it's not like the woman in Benidorm, is it? Yeah, Tell us about that. the woman so, in Benidorm. Yeah. Sticky Vicky. Sure if we want to know. You know, oh. I don't think I want to know. You know, know. Sticky Vicky, it's a true story. Sticky Vicky's retired. Yeah, she's a retired. Daughter, a daughter's doing it now, and yep. then a daughter's retired, and a granddaughter's doing it. Unbelievable. Keep it in the keep it in the family, don't you? Mm. I don't think I want to know mm. with a name Sticky like Vicky. that. Sticky Vicky, you've never heard of Sticky Vicky. I'm going to Google it later on. You're from Blackpool, you've never heard of Sticky Vicky. But the thing about it is, that Sticky Vicky, right, I went about five years ago to Benidorm, and she was still doing it then. Yeah. It was a sign. And then all of a sudden, this little old woman come out. And then... This, <laughs> get, every, dearie. get everybody off the dance floor, and she's there with this little box thing that she has all her tricks in. And, oh, I tell you what, you know, <laughs> she's... She, eight, 85. 85. 85 or yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Miss Crinkley. Yeah. <laughs> <Did> oh, <laughs> and we, we were sat at the side. You had to wire in her first. Yeah, we <laughs> wasn't sat at the front. We were sat at the side, so we seen where she was getting all the tricks from, and that, oh, never again. Anyway, like, like you just said... The daughter took over, and now the yeah. d- now granddaughter. The grand- now the granddaughter. Is the Family business. business. Unbelievable. And and her, her husband, actually, was the chief of police in Benidorm. Benidorm yeah, that's a yeah. good story. So she was making a fortune. Wow. She was, she was pulling up in a big, um, like, a big white Mercedes car and everything, and she'd just come and do four or five shows a night, and she'd make a fortune. I'm definitely in the wrong business. You are. <laughs> <laughs> but you'd be too short to be on the stage. People wouldn't be able to see you from no, the back. No, but you could do Megan the Midget show. Yeah, yeah. Megan the Midget. <laughs> People at the back, please put on binoculars and you can see her too. Oh. Yes, anyway, like get, the, 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 Megan the Midget would be like the old Dancing Flea show, wouldn't it? People would be looking down going, <laughs> You're horrible, man. <laughs> you are horrible. I think she's lovely. Thank you. You're very the only much. one who does, Jeff. Well, it's okay because I don't work with her, you see. <laughs> yes, you see, you don't really know her, do Any, you? Anyway, I w- just, just, just getting back to it quickly about the entertainers. There was a little magic man on. S- Soy LK Metro. Oh, it and, he, and, it. Right, and, he, and he wears like a, a Union Jack thing with a hat. And he come up and he kept mithering, he kept asking for 100 baht for his daughter, blah, 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 blah. Mithering and mithering. And, and in the end, I said to him, if you don't go away now, I'm going to saw you in half. Magician. 
you get it? Laugh. You're Very supposed to laugh. laugh at this. <laughs> <laughs> that was my best attempt at comedy. It was funny at the time. It was so Science. good that we're going to let Joan Jett and the Black Arts take us to the local and national news this morning. 